Jonathan Lee Richards investigates. This guy right here, 37-year-old Matthew Swetowski, he has been arrested. Authorities have found him. He's caught. And he's being held on $2 million bail. What did he do? Well, we talked about him yesterday in a video I made. He was a person of interest. He has a home in Lancaster, California, and a woman's body was found in the trunk of a car in his garage, in his house, and the car was burnt. It was a burnt trunk. And let me show you a little bit about the area, the crime scene, and the fire trucks and authorities responding to a situation that happened at his house. So after that happened, he took off. He took off and left his own house. Now authorities arrested him. Unclear how he got arrested or where he got arrested. And we still don't know the victim's name that was in the trunk of the car where uh, it was found, where she was found burnt in the trunk. But here's some information about the incident. Lancaster man arrested in death of woman whose body was found after car fire. Authorities have arrested a Lancaster man in connection with the death of a woman whose burnt body was found after a car fire at his home. Matthew Switolski was arrested Thursday night. Investigators told Eyewitness News. Jail records indicate he is being held on $2 million bond. A woman's body was found Wednesday at Swatowski's home in the 41,400 block of 38th Street West around 8.30 a.m. Firefighters were called to the home on a report of a vehicle fire. Neighbors reported hearing a blood-curdling woman scream hours earlier that morning and then the sounds of an explosion shortly before the fire. After firefighters extinguished the flames, which spread to more than one vehicle, they found the woman's body inside the trunk of one vehicle. Swatowski was initially termed a person of interest who was being sought for questioning, but he was then located in Kern County and placed under arrest for murder. Thursday night, the woman's identity has not been released, but neighbors say she was a school teacher in the area. So a school teacher... What's going on here, people? Who's the victim? What happened here? Let me know what you think. So what in the world happened here? Was this a ex-wife, girlfriend, female acquaintance, stranger, a victim of kidnapping? A lot of unknowns. What I can tell you, though, is I've been digging in on this guy, and I will say that a multiple female have filed uh, protection of abuse orders against him, PFAs. Against him in the last few years, not going to say their names, but he seems like he doesn't get along with females. What's going on here? I'm looking into this guy, digging in, and as soon as the victim is identified, I will share with all of you who is this Matthew dude. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. We are digging. We are digging. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.